This is Ozarks Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Ray Thunk. Thunks. <laughs> what? Thunks. Uh, I was trying to say thanks for tuning in on this Misty Monday, and it came out thunks. <laughs> well, there you go. That happens sometimes. Misty Monday. That's exactly what I'm telling what it is. you, sometimes yeah. when you talk for a living, it doesn't actually work out that way. Sometimes it does. Okay, so I'm going to ask yes. Cameraman Clint. Okay. Cameraman Clint, whenever we hear that sound effect, here's what I'd like you to do <laughs> push in one, two, three on the camera as a close up. Okay, can we try that? Let's try that. They used okay. to do that on Saturday Night Live. It was Debbie Downer. Or, or just a... <laughs> <laughs> It was one of my favorite Saturday Night Live sketches called Debbie Downer. Debbie like you'd Downer, say, like, yes. okay, say you had a great weekend. Okay, hey, listen, I had the best weekend. I, it's, it, my goodness, it was the best I've ever had. We had so much fun. It rained all weekend at my house, and I lost three of my vegetable plants. <laughs> yeah, well, that is a good, and, and don't you know people like that? I do. I'm like, oh. There's the people who will, you'll be happy and they'll Debbie, Debbie down you. Yeah. Or there's the people who one-up you. One-up you, they they'll do. They'll one-up you. They do, it's like. Like, and you have to be careful about that. Yeah. Because, you know, Joy Robertson sent me a picture uh -huh. of her accidental tomato. So Joy oh. the other day uh, said, Jeremy, I have a question for you. She goes, I had this raised bed. I, I did not plant saying. anything, but I have a tomato plant growing. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, Joy, that happens. Yeah. I have random tomato plants yeah. all over my yard. So this weekend, speaking of one up, I didn't do it, but she sent oh. me a cherry tomato. She goes, look what I got. And then I wanted to text her back, look at my bowl of cherry, <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> cherry you know tomatoes. What? I'm so glad that you didn't. I did not. But I, I wouldn't. But there's those okay, one uppers. Okay, but now I'm going to one up you just because I had my first tomato. Look at you one upping us I'm now. I'm one up you. I had okay. my first tomato. Remember, I put it in the yes. windowsill. And I told you it ripened. And it was very tasty. And I was, it's so, um, it feels so good to grow something. Now I mean, I'm going to one up you. I got four of those juicy <laughs> babies, right? <laughs> Look at now, this go! I'm gonna one up you. I went to Mama Jean's and bought five, <laughs> but I didn't grow them, but I bought them, and they were delicious. Hey, I had you know BLTs what? Though? this weekend. Ooh, I fixed so all my good. tomatoes, but when I cut them, there were tons of worms in them. Are you, are you serious? <laughs> worms? <laughs> no, they really weren't. They weren't. Okay. So far, I'm keeping Clinton on his toes, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. So far, <laughs> we are worm-free at our house. Yes. I'm just kidding. There were no worms. But that's good. No, they were. That's great. I'm telling you, though, usually my cherry tomatoes are so over the top going crazy. Yeah. But you know, you know what a secret to keeping on top of that is? What? Is every time you're working in the yard, go and grab a few and eat them. Because hey. sometimes I have bowls of them and I'm like, I can't eat all of these. If you pick them as they ripen, it's like your little snack in the yard oh, while you're working. Oh, how nice is that? And then you don't have to go inside and get a snack. So you don't have to wash them off? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel, well, I don't use really? anything on them. Like, I don't use right. pesticides or right. bad things. So I just take it off. I look If there's an ant on it, I'll flick off the ant. Flick it off. And then I'll just kind of like polish yeah, on my shirt. And I'll of, be like, yeah, that's good. It, I love those cherry tomatoes. They have such flavor. It is so good. And I'm curious to ask Elisa Rafa a question. Okay. Elisa Rafa, have you ever picked a tomato off the plant and just eaten it and thought that was the best tomato you've ever had in your life? My nonna would grow tomatoes in Brooklyn, and hers were really good, too. She actually grows them now still, so yes. Yeah, okay, delicious. good, yes, that makes me happy, because there's yes. nothing like a homegrown tomato. Yeah, yeah no, not. really good. Um, flash flood watch is in effect in uh, south central Missouri and north central Arkansas through the day today. Uh, we'll have some heavy rain possible there from Barry, two to three inches of rain possible in the watch area, and then much less rain not in the watch. So if you see some standing water, especially near the rivers and creeks, please turn around, don't drown, never walk, swim, or play in flood waters. Barry is a tropical depression with 25 mile per hour winds centered in Arkansas with those rains starting to come up into Missouri this morning. We've got some light to moderate rain out there. Most of it is some light showers, a couple of showers up in Springfield and then areas really south and east of the interstate. It's 70 in Springfield right now, 67 in Monette and 68 in Fort Leonardwood. Some wet roads as you head out the door this morning and then they'll continue through the afternoon as we keep some of these spotty showers from Barry. 
at the pool today, cool, cloudy showers, 76 degrees, so not my pick for a pool day. And as you fire up the barbecue, uh, you'll need the umbrella possibly at times with some of these showers continuing and temperatures staying in the 70s. Uh, so we're looking at hour by hour, the heavier downpours again focused to the east because uh, this storm is pretty lopsided. The heaviest rain will be to the east of the track. Uh, so that's why we favor the eastern Ozarks for this heavy rain. Clouds and temperatures in the 70s today. Then the showers break up even more on the overnight tonight and into tomorrow as that circulation works on going to the east. So we'll pull away some of the clouds tomorrow. Temperatures in the 80s and the showers exit. There's that rain forecast about two inches possible for the eastern Ozarks, but a couple of tenths of an inch in Springfield and then not much over to the west. Again, we're expecting about two to three inches to the south and east. Clouds and spotty showers north and west, but less than an inch, if not less than a half an inch of rain there. Maybe an isolated tornado for our extreme southeast counties, but that threat looks very low for our area. Uh, so no mowing today or tomorrow will be too wet. And then by Wednesday and Thursday it might be too hot. We're looking at those temperatures in the middle 90s feeling like 100 to 105 Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and into the weekend as we start to crank our next heat wave that could last a couple of days. Again, once you get that heat index over 100, you're a little bit dangerous. You want to make sure to stay cool and hydrated. Jeremy Kelly. Yeah. I, I'm curious, I'm looking at this forecast, and I know it's July 15th today, but I'm wondering if we'll break 100 this year, because we didn't last year. No, oh, we didn't. We I forgot about that. did not last year. These temperatures in the middle 90s will be our warmest so far this year. Our warmest temperature so far was 91 degrees, so 94 so, would be the warmest so far. But you said the index, you're feeling like over 100. It feels over 100. With the humidity. humidity. With yeah. the humidity. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you want to break 100? I, I just feel like last year we should have. I just feel it's not really summer unless we break 100. That's what I feel like. <gasps> okay. <laughs> that's me growing up in Texas where we constantly break 100. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I bet you do. Yeah. It was, I just, yeah. I feel like that's summer and I like to break records also. I think it's fun for Elisa to have records for, to share with us. And you're like, hey, mm -hmm. last year we set the record. I like when you do the records for, yeah. you know. Yeah, and we continue to see more and more of those that as the weather gets more extreme. I'm all, I feel like I'm always talking about records, so none this week, but we're breaking we'll see. records on water, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I would yeah, love to know next year in 2020, tell us what the rain recap was for 2019. I think we'll be up. It's going to be a record. Just Jeremy's house. <laughs> Just Jeremy's house, absolutely. Everybody else, a drought. Jeremy's house, <laughs> Noah's Ark. Right. 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 Grab, right. grab the animals two by two. Get on my ark. We're leaving from my house. There you go. All right. Thanks Thank so much, you, Lisa. Lisa. You're welcome. Coming up, Kaylee is finally going to answer the age-old question. Kel, are you ready for this? What is it? Hand soap or hand sanitizer? Mm, very interesting. That's coming up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Well, maybe.